Hello brothers and sisters out there, welcome to the, um, the Soren Anderson studio block. Um, we are in Copenhagen, Denmark. I am in uh, Medley Studios and um, I am actually working on my next album, which will be a 100% instrumental guitar album. <laughs> Done with the drums and the bass, and right now I'm doing rhythm guitars. Um, quite interesting thing, um, I'm playing all the rhythm guitars with this new Pacifica uh, uh, kind of prototype of a forthcoming Soren Anderson custom guitar. <laughs> guitars for this track is uh, like this and then I change the bass note to an A and I try to keep my low notes on on the low E string uh, to have the same kind of tone so when it comes to G instead of doing I do like this, just to keep the tone as equal as possible. So, in context, it works like this. And even when I go into the B section, I still stick to the low E string. And when I go to when I go to D I go up here. Only because this D sounds a little different. I just prefer to kind of stick to the low E string to keep it kind of flowing. <laughs> And when it comes to uh, the choice of amp, um, there is only one in my world, which is this very nice, very old D JTM 45. Um, I bought it from my cousin when I was 15. And it's from uh, 1965, and it's still working. It has a very fast respond and a very nice low end, and just a great equalizer and uh, overall the best amp I ever heard. Uh, when it comes to um, pedals, I am uh, using the uh, using Kettner Tube Factor right here. It's my fave overdrive. Um, I have a couple of TC effects as well. You can get any chorus or any flame door effects. Uh, it's TC. Uh, cabinet. If you guys want to see how I make up my guitar this time. You guitar players know that this has changed all the time. One week you have one way to do it, and the next week you have another way to do it. So as you can uh, as you can hear now, we are in the noisy room. <laughs> this is where I have my cabinet, and it's uh, two by twelve with the um, Vintage Thirty speakers and just one microphone. and you're ready to rock. Right here is my uh, drum room. This is where I record all my drums. It's a very nice woody, very open and kind of big room. As you can see, lots of gear, but uh, it's just the, the drums I record. Back to the control room. Um, the drummer on this album is uh, Morten Hellborn from uh, the Mike Tram band. Uh, he's with Dune as well. He's right now touring with Aqua, that big Danish pop act. So uh, I kind of steal him with himself. Uh, so we record all the drums in two days and uh, I'm very happy about it.
So um, all the guitars are recorded with this uh, TLA Audio Desk, which is uh, 24 tube tracks. It's a great, uh, great desk. Um, I record all the drums with this desk as well. I prefer uh, tube channels because they are very warm and uh, as you guys probably know, everything is going through the Pro Tools afterwards, so it just makes sense for me to record it with tubes. <laughs> I just uh, finished the rhythm guitars and uh, now I'm working on my kind of lead track. Um, the way I'm doing it is um, I'm playing for the whole song on a couple of takes and then after that I listen to the different parts from the different takes and kind of edit together perfect version. And I'm improvising a lot and uh, hopefully some good guitar stuff will come out of it. Let's take number two. All my life I've been dreaming about doing that instrumental kind of melodic shredder rock guitar album uh, because I was I was 16 when when Steve Vai and Greg Howe and Satriani and Michael Lee Forkins and all those guys they came out in 89, 88, 90, 91. At that point I was 16, 17 years old, so that was a big part of me for like five years. Then I kind of got over it and uh, got more into that Hendrix, Zeppelin, Black Rosie kind of vibe, which is where I am at the moment. Um, but I am now recording this guitar album, um, and it's uh, it's actually something I do just because I can. I don't care about is it cool or is it not cool. Is it is it kind of out of fashion or is it coming back? I, I don't care. <laughs> I have fast licks and whammy bar tricks and even tapping going on, so uh, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Looking forward to see you out there. Peace out, play loud. <laughs>